Cancer, part 3. If you want to learn more details about how I develop and overcome cancer without any chemotherapy, you could watch my video Cancer Part 1 and Cancer Part 2. But shortly I want to tell you that yes, I did overcome cancer without doing any chemotherapy. I prayed, Lord send my eyes on book Nature is Your Healer, where I start my learning journey about how food could impact our health. And then I start to watch my plate, what I eat. I start to watch plate of my family, kids and husband. They call me in the beginning health freak and then fruit Nazi. But then, whoo-hoo, career growing. Now I'm health ministry. And I like that. Well, I didn't tell everybody all the time about how horrible they are eating. I thought it's not my business. It's their plate. They are not stupid. They could read. But then Lord started to stir up in my heart fire. It like thoughts came to me. It's not my business. And Lord telling me, well, you did now. You could be happy if somebody told you before. And I thought, yes, I could. So tell people. Like, oh, no, 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 I want to be friends. How is that possible? I will tell mama on playground, hey, if you're feeding your kids with goldfish, you're feeding them with possible cancer. Uh, or moms on playground will say, oh, I wish my kids could eat carrot and apple like your kids eat. And I'm thinking in my head, like, well, you should to bring carrot and apple, not chips on playground. When kids are hungry, they could eat everything. Believe me, I went so many field trips and I got only fruits and vegetables with me. Kids could eat everything. Like fruits and vegetables included. Of course, if I will have goldfish and apple, of course they will prefer goldfish because it's from devil. You know why? Because they put chemical there that makes so pleasant for tongue. So child automatically will choose goldfish, same like adults, automatically will choose Coca-Cola over water, unfortunately. But they are full of stuff that poison your body. It's not created by the Lord. So body does know how to turn that food, how to take nutrients from that food. Besides, it's not much nutrient there. And how to turn to energy. So body just storing and when you consuming that bad food, you are giving body wrong message. And then cancer cells start, start to develop. And you know what happened? If you suddenly stop to eat that bad food and start to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, your body automatically will be detoxifying and got more nutrients. I still didn't talk much about food and a situation happened when one gentleman asked me how you can eat so much and you stay so skinny and I said I'm exercising a lot I'm watching what I eat and yes I can eat a lot just because I'm skinny doesn't mean that I I, sh I should eat very small portions no I will eat a lot of salad yes I could eat steak and more but then next day I know oh yesterday I ate a lot so today I'm not gonna eat so I didn't answer anything. I thought, I'm not nutritionist. I'm not gonna talk to you. But a little bit later, the gentleman went to, like literally three weeks later, he went for heart surgery. And then Lord told me, if you could talk to him, it might not happen. He directly asked you and you just turn away. And then articles came to my eyes that in 10 years, Every third person will be sick with cancer. It's a scary number. My younger son, he's 10 now. So when he's gonna be 20, every third person will be sick with cancer. That's a scary. We don't want that happen. It's why Lord continue to work in my heart. It's why we have You Less Happy Planet. It's why we have so many other video on YouTube about how you could overcome any kind of sickness when you eat correct food. Furthermore, you even don't have to be sick to start to eat right. Just 
Start to change your diet right now. Right now, look at your plate. They're supposed to be 75% of alkaline food. So fruits and veggies and water, 75% from what you eat. And I will post more videos about healthy eating and more and more. But we as a nation, together, we need to stand up for health, for our health. Not only for social rights, we could stand up for our health. We could change. People say, oh, I won't change world for better place, to be better place. Start from your plate. Change your diet. Post those pictures of healthy foods that you eat. Look at for videos. If you have headache, drink water, go for walk, don't grab pill. Always remember, fruits and veggies, seeds and nuts will clear your mind, will clean your guts. Eat whole grains, herbs and spice. Drink plenty of water and exercise. You know, when Jesus said, love your neighbors, I thought it was not a difficult task. Love your teenager kids. That's a challenge. Love your neighbors, teenager kids, and stay away from the politics. Cherish garden, study the word, fight sin, temptation, praise the Lord. Love you all. See you in next video.